morning guys. I am actually rushing out of the house right now because I have a midwife appointment this morning and little bugs awake. Hi, you ready to go for a ride? No? Well, too bad. So I'm getting ready to head out the door, but first I'm gonna get this little one all ready to go. So I am a huge Starbucks fan, but I'm also a huge fan of my money. So I like to make my own iced coffee, and I really like the uh, what the the caramel macchiato flavor. So I've actually never bought this stuff before. I usually do this a little bit differently, but I recently bought this stuff, and it is like way too sweet for me have my coffee pot, I make my coffee, and then I pour it in here with some ice cubes and I let it sit in the fridge for a little bit. And then today, I am gonna just pour a little bit of this in there too, on top of the coffee. I think I'm also gonna add some ice cubes. my coffee to sweet ratio is a little bit more reasonable all right let's go Sometimes that can help. It's the hormones that need to get regulated. Mm -hmm. And then it mentioned abdominal pain. Where's that? Sometimes I have some abdominal pain, um, like cramping. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I I actually haven't had my period in like three years. Okay. So. So the bleeding from postpartum has all gone away. Yeah, I'm not bleeding anymore. Okay. Um, breastfeeding is going well. Any pain, yeah. tenderness? Have um, you ever had a plugged up or mastitis? Know what that's like? Never had that before. Right. For contraception, you're able to start the mini pill now if you want, so the progesterone only. Okay. It won't affect breast milk. You can right. still keep breastfeeding with it. So I you're think able I'm to start, start with that, that for now. now. You did that one before. I did, and then I just get pregnant on it. But it, that was after only, two years. Yeah. So well, the mini pills really only good for the first six months. Or unless I'm a little weary of like one baby number four. Or we. Well, my done. husband was gonna get a vasectomy, but this is our third girl, and he's still trying to process the fact that he doesn't have a boy. Okay. So I don't know. Able to get like a Mirena. The yeah, I'm next a little one. skeptical. Though. I'm just a little bit scared, I guess, of maybe any side effects that uh, there might be, or Mirena I don't know. Is really great. You get it's good for five years. I'm wondering, does it ever move? It's a cavity, so like it stays within this area. Sometimes they can kind of turn and get topsy turvy, mm -hmm. and then they need to come out. 
but that's very rare. If we decide at like maybe two or three years we want to try again, you take it, it out, out and take it out, and you are considered uh, fertile at that point. Okay. All right, I'm back. Tried to record in there. I don't know what all y'all were able to hear because my camera was in my bag. Just trying to be real like careful about that. Parking garages. Okay, S my D. Okay, so I'm not sure what all y'all could hear, but um, I had my pap smear and a checkup, a postpartum checkup, and everything seems normal. They didn't have any concerns. I was a little bit bummed out though because the midwife that was examining me, I actually had no idea who she was to be honest with you guys. I'd never met her before and she wasn't my favorite midwife. The midwife that actually delivered Henley is my favorite. And I thought it was gonna be her, but it was not. How are you? That will be $2. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Okay, so we also talked about birth control. And I will definitely put a link for you guys to watch my Pregnant at 18 video. But I've had a lot of bad luck with birth control. I obviously got pregnant with Henley on the mini pill and I got pregnant with Lilia because I got Gardasil instead of Depo Provera and I've just had a lot of bad luck but I am trying to figure out what I'm gonna do because I have already started having sex again and I'm not using any sort of protection whatsoever and I'm definitely really nervous. So she was kind of trying to talk me into like an IUD of some kind, either the Nexplanon I believe which goes in the arm and she was really talking about the Mirena. She was talking it up a lot. I feel like I've heard mixed reviews about any IUD and I was trying to ask her if there have been any adverse side effects, any bad reviews on these contraceptives, and for some reason she was acting like, oh no, there's nothing, so I'm definitely going to have to do my own research. I did go ahead and have her prescribe me the progesterone pill, which is just the mini pill that I can take for the first six months that I am exclusively breastfeeding Henley. That will have me feeling a lot better about being sexually active and hopefully we don't have any oopsie daisies because we don't need that right now. I found out that I was having baby number four. I would low-key lose my shit. Well now I am heading over to Trey's office. He has Zoe there and they have ordered me some lunch and I'm gonna go have lunch with them and then I'm gonna take Zoe and Henley home I think I think that's what I'm gonna do I don't think I have anything else to do Two minutes of mommy going goo goo gaga over baby baby. Look who's holding up her head. She is doing amazing. Hi. 